Oh, are you here? Yeah. I was down there though, for, for well, a good reason. When, when we started out on this trip, we had three aims, 28 locks, a pirate, yeah. and, and a, a captain. captain. We did the 28 locks, we did the pirate. And now? Let me get on without falling in. Hello. And now we've got, we've got the captain. We've got captain. Yeah, yeah. Got. I'm going to stay on here all day today with Ethel. Where is Ethel? She's oh, down got Ethel. She's, down, she's down the well, the wooden Hello, room for Ethel. All of us. Hello, baby. I don't think it'd go down very well if Ethel jumped up and not not the eats captain or eats Dixie. I haven't got Dixie today. I'll go no, and get Dixie. No, but she jumped up. Not so there you go. We we're, we're going in convoy oh, today. Down, I'll sit here, look. Oh, come on, Ethel. Here's Ethel. Here's Ethel. We're going on a cruise. Yeah. And? And just in case you missed it the first time. Come on board. All right, OK. We're going to do it again. I'm on. I'm on. I'm with Ethel. I'm not picking her up. She is huge, guys. It's, it's Gary Captain Ethel? Phillips. What have you done with her? Well... Oh, Ethel! She'll have you in the water. She'll, she'll have me somewhere. Blimey, heck, girl! You're supposed to be a boxer. We can't. Don't know where we come from. We can't be. Be found guilty of drowning, right, Captain. Right, I've we'll let the, you get off. I've now. got the scars. Yeah, you've yeah. got the scars. Everyone's got a scar. Wow, she's ever. So, our convoy companion today, Captain Gary of Chuggabug. You can take the others head on. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. See you in a bit. Once again, uh, going too fast, going under the too well photographed and videoed Grub Street. Oh shit! Captain Phillips in front. 
use the battery in that? It's great. With the talkie walkies giving us up the heads up on all the torpedo, that's a stone torpedo. We haven't been hit by a stone torpedo, this year. oh we are. But yeah, we've got that green go faster stripe. Good I shout that. Do you know? I try not to be a bitter old Oh no, can I say that anymore, can I? This dog is tired. I might if this microphone's picking us up, I might just put a stick the radio. That radio might just put this back. On this bridge there's a van, a work van. Cherry pick actually, because I've always wanted. I know what cherry picking. I want one. Yeah, the and the workmen are sitting there having a conversation. And he answers the talkie walkie to Gary and says, What did you say, mate? <laughs> Can I just say? Right, I am deaf. I have to guess and one thing that what do we always argue about when you when you ask for something, say you want a coffee, if you put like a silly voice on I want the coffee. Yeah, but this is the thing. Like Deaf people, right? Or maybe it's just me. I don't want to guess. I want the coffee. No, but I don't want to guess what you what 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 he wants. I want to know because it's hard How about enough. This? I want the coffee. No, but you right. No, but if I'm if if I'm if I can't hear, I need to. Would you really call your boat Titanic too? Well, no, not if it had holes like that. No. <laughs> But I love that boat. You shouldn't say that. I do actually like that boat, I'm being serious. It's got more tape on it than your boots. Did he say something? I don't think so. God, this is wrong about being deaf. You, every little thing you think you've heard something. Maybe I'm not deaf, maybe I'm just... It, you know, it doesn't store it in there. If he's said it and he's not seeing it anymore, no. you're going on like that, it doesn't... No, I'm, 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 I'm waiting in case he says something because I'm deaf. No, but the thing is, though, the thing is... Do you want to get the gaffer tape and I'll strap it to your head? The gaffer tape's falling off my shoe. Oh, yeah. But anyway, on a serious note... What's that? Serious note. Okay. But on a serious note, it's no fun being deaf. But I'm not sure if I'm deaf or I'm just, like, a little bit... Lazy. Lazy? Oh. Don't know where that came from. No, actually... My teachers at school, when I was a lad, when I was a lad... You mean you went to school? Did yeah. you ask for your money back? <laughs> well, my mum kept saying to him... When they said Did I was... Did you do anything with him? Well, they said... No, they kept saying, <laughs> why are we mucking about at class? Well, if they put me at the back of the class and I'm deaf, I couldn't hear anything, so I may as well just be, like, staring at the I ceiling. Was I was always at the back of the class and it was a great opportunity. <laughs> You are not, that is not going out. No. But you've just ruined my man of No, I do. Oh. <laughs> I do the editing, it's alright, I'm fixing anything. We're in a convoy. But there's another convoy coming the other way and a bridge. And it's all very tickety boo. But it's not tickety boo at all. Do you know that? What's up here? You're doing all right. Look at it. Uh, can I share with you, the gentleman? Before you say, you know when you do that, you know you normally go backwards, don't you? Yeah. Don't do it. Uh, Clean your glasses, you dirty bugger. Oh, they're only for looking through. Are they stopping there? <laughs> I had a phone call off the hospital this morning. Because yeah, if you remember, we said... Yeah. We said going back a bit because this will probably be January by the time this goes out. It will. But we did say we found a gap in our NHS schedule and then this morning just before we set off we had a phone call from the hospital. Well, we're going to have quite a few little trips, quite a few little trips for Christmas so we are going to do something. No, we're going to do it. We're just going to do it overnight or couple nights. So you're going to see us go a lot to like church I don't overnight. think that boat's more, I think it's crashed. I like crash boats, it's funny. I like crashed boats, uh, I don't like. Okay, well. <laughs> well, it is great fun, isn't it, going in a convoy when you're behind? Yeah, you see, this is alright. I mean, when I used to be in the car club and we used to do convoys, we were always worried because convoying cars is a bit dodgy with the police, they get a little bit nappy about it. But on the boat, it's alright, isn't it? Yeah, because we don't have to worry about any oncoming hazards because we get pre warning. It's fabulous. Gary, if you're available for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, 
give you a call at next time we yeah, want to go out. Yeah, next time we go out, we'll tell you yeah. where to park your boat. Ha! 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 This is a question. For Tom's mom, really. Or, or anybody um, else. my friend Ryan, who we call Sniper, but yeah, whatever. Has anyone ever seen a happy fisherman? And do they have any friends? Oh no, I've got a theory why people, they've, they've got a terrible home life, either their spouse or the know, I, 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 I actually know quite a few people that enjoy fishing and they've got lovely families. Have you ever seen a fisherman smile? Yeah, but I've never seen my friends fish, but I can imagine they do smile. Yeah, but not while they're fishing. <laughs> no, no, there was one man, right, and he was, he was fishing off the back of his boat and he was really really happy but he might have been smoking something to make him happy. Uh, Do you remember that guy? No. But, but he was very happy. I think he was almost floating. If, if you're a chemically assisted fisherman you probably, <laughs> chemically. <laughs> you probably do look happy but as for the rest of them. No. I've seen happier bloody garden gnomes. Next. <laughs> Got some good news. Just check the phone. You won't believe this. We have been picked. We've won a £500 Tesco voucher. Wow! We don't shop at Tesco. Yeah, no, but we don't even have a Tesco card. But no, but they picked us out of out of it. Mr. Tesco must have realised. Is this Nigerian Tesco? Well, you're not going to believe this, but you know the email address it came. It was. At Nigeria. No, no, it wasn't. It was a brilliant offer. Dot Tesco. Dot something or other. But it wasn't actually Tesco. No. I'm smelling a rat. Nice, no, smell fine to me. Anyway, we are passing Poppy Number Three, which used to be what? What was the name? Um. Bo Boating Beyond. Boating Beyond. Yeah, yeah. They're all but all very nice. Now like the poppies on the window. Is that a bad one of my, my nuts? Yeah, I think that's copy number three. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Oh, 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 oh. Well, the, m this boat that's to the left, I love its name, but I, I'm not going to say it. John's going to say it. Okay, mate, no problem, carry on. Chongo Lolo. Chongo Lolo. What a monkey bag. I love that name so much. Oh, it's got a windlass in it. Yeah, that is great. Then you can, t you can turn the thing up. My mum doesn't want to hear it. Right, I'm going to have a wee. Mr. McGoo is at the tiller. Is it, is it off? You don't normally see this, you know. It's me, Mr. John. What do you call me when I'm on the tiller? Mr. Magoo. Mr. Magoo. Do you know what? We've actually never bought a boat that we've had it surveyed, but we've had we've, boats surveyed yeah, we, that we didn't had, buy. We've had boats surveyed that we didn't buy, but yeah. we bought two boats without having a survey. Three boats? Three boats without Three having boats? Three boats? Bought every single one. Anyway, unfortunately, Mr. Magoo's made a tactical error, so yeah. Summer wine? I can't believe it. Sorry. We hired it in 2006 and we were the second people to go out on it. And it was Brandy beautiful, boat. it was so beautiful. I remember it. I mean, it actually looked really modern. Probably now it probably wouldn't look as modern, but it, it felt modern at the time. I'll be glad when we got out of here. There's another boat just in front with Polly and Gary, but they've got off and they're holding it in at the side. Just hope they're holding it in at the side, but enough room to pass and not on a narrow bit. And as you can see, uh, somebody pushed me off the tiller. Can't think who. Well, we ran out of Valium. 
I'm fat, right? He does oh, call me Mr. Magoo, but I'm all right. I'm not the best. I'm not the worst. I get, I get on, but I'd do a lot better if I could just steer the damn thing. Anyway. Okay. This is not going well. <laughs> We've got a roadblock here. Tom, Tom's just jumped off and run down. And I think they panicked. Boat coming the other way. He jumped off, pulled, pulled the centre line in, but the woman on the tiller must have had it full in reverse. So they blocked the canal off. Tom's gone down to uh, help them. Change of plan. It's turning into much longer a day than we anticipated. We're now doing turning locks. Talkie talkie! Oh. If you take that one, you can talk to John then. I think walkie talkie. I'm just going to keep an eye on my water, I'm on the water point, it's going to overflow. Oh yeah, no, I'm alright, how are you? Still? You okay, Truman? Yeah, no, you're good. Well, Adley, not Adley, it's Early. What a shit show this is turning into. Two hours. Two hours. Remember if this is three we've got. Anyway. Nearly journey's end. We're ending this video now because it's been a disaster. Never mind.